Astro is one of the most popular themes for WordPress today. Pairing it with WooCommerce is a no-brainer. Today we're going to show you how to edit the single product page. So let's dive right in. First thing we need to check is make sure that we have Astro installed and how you install a new theme if you've never done it before. You go over here to the left, Appearances, Themes, and this is all the themes you have installed. If you want to install a new theme, go up to Add New Theme. And as you see, I already have Astra installed, but it'll always be up here in the top results. If not, just search up Astra. And then it will bring Astra up to the top for you. The next thing we're gonna need is to make sure that WooCommerce is installed. To do that, you just go over here to Plugins. Search up Woo. If you don't have it installed, just go Add New. Again, you can search for it here. You type in woo and they'll be the first result right here on our left. As you can see, there's way more plugins and themes, so it takes a little while for it to come up. But you'll just hit, it'll say, it'll look like that first. And you'll click install and then you'll activate it. The next thing you're going to make sure you're going to want to have, so you see the changes, is you're going to want to have a product. So go to products. If you don't have any already created, just add new, add some pictures and some text, just so you can see the changes that you are applying. Now to start making changes to products, there's two ways to get there. One way is just go to Appearances, Customizer. This is what you should be greeted with if you're on a fresh website. Now if you've actually created a homepage, you'll see your homepage here. To get to the single product and start editing, we're going to go over here to WooCommerce, Single Product. Now this might not always automatically change to the area you're editing. So we're going to go and navigate to a single product. So go to shop. As you can see, I have my plugin installed. It adds quick view, a comparison, and a wish list with many, many other features, including ways to market, abandoned cart. So if you want to support me and my channel, please consider adding this to your website. It will help your conversion rates and get you more sales. But the way you want to do it is click on to a single product and now you see your single product to get started we're going to be in the general tab and we're going to work our way down this first one will add the title area so that will give you the title and you know, leave a comment who uh, made it and whatnot now i don't think it's good to have the title twice so we will remove that and then you have the content layout but I believe by default it's normal, and then you can have full width. Generally, it's good to stick on normal because this will contain it and help you keep it cohesive between, no matter how big the screen the user has. The next thing is content container style, sorry. Unboxed is by default, and boxed will just you know, contain it within this area and it will give it a different background. And then we're going to have your sidebar layout. So if you have a sidebar, you put on the left or the right. I don't have a sidebar. There. And then again, the side, sidebar is the same thing. So we'll add one. Unbox by default. And then we can box it off. So if you have it, it will have, probably have the same background color. Now that we're through the, the basic controls, this is where the fun stuff is. Now you can reorder all of this stuff here. For right now, categories on top. You want the title to be on top. Switch it like that. And the price. You can even hide things you don't want to show. Uh, the one thing I like to show is this payments. It just gives it a little more character on the bottom here and makes it so that they can see what kind of cards you you accept and then you can edit and change up here to make it look different and you can even do grayscale so it just makes it look black but i think a splash of color is always a good idea and down here we can enable breadcrumbs shipping text if you want to have some text like free shipping you can say inline Stacked. And you can also add a sticky add to cart. 
So right now it's on top. So if we scroll down, you'll see it come down. It also will include the stuff for my plugin so they could share it, add to their wish list or compare and add to the cart. You can also put it on the bottom, which then will be down here. So depending on what you like, it has a whole bunch of options. Now, if you choose to upgrade, they give you many, many color controls and more design controls. Some of the stuff is necessary, some not. Sticky, sticky summary. I would stick with a free version and get plugins that do a little bit more for you. And now we're going to go to the top of the control thing and click design. So all your sticky add to cart colors are here. So if we bring up the sticky add to cart, change the background color, change the text color, undo all that because you can even change the button text color. Do whatever color you want. And also change the hover. You can also change its background color. That was its hover, sorry. Just the black. See, they give you a nice bit of control over here. Now, padding, it will change the padding of spacing. Obviously, you can play with that if you like. Make it to how you like to have it. Same thing with margin. So you can go through all those controllers. I'm going to go back. And how you're going to change these button controls and these text colors is under global and colors. You can just change the color scheme, make your site more cohesive. And then also you can go through here and change all the different colors and it will affect your single cart. And that's how you edit the single product using Astro theme. As you can see, they keep it nice and simple, but also give you a good amount of control to make it match whatever color scheme you have. You know, they just make it so easy, beginner friendly. Now, if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.